TDT Technology are a leading distributor of CNC machine tools in the UK. We're here in the northeast to go and visit RDS Engineering, another happy client who have embraced the technology of CAFO. Derek, RDS Engineering in the north of England. What sectors do you cover and can you tell me a bit more about your company? I can, Joe. RDS cover quite a wide range. We started off initially looking at the oil and gas industry. Uh, and locally, a lot of the industry died, the shipyards went, the pits went. So Aberdeen tended to move out over to get better rates uh, on the work and pay. And we also tended to move up over to get better quality work. So we tended to deal oil and gas quite a lot and also service a lot of the smaller companies locally and some of the larger 100 million a year turnover companies locally as well. And we've been invited to RDS Engineering by TDD Technology and your good selves. Why did you buy the KFO machine? Quite a number of reasons, Joe, to be honest. Uh, one was, as you can see, the size of the machine is quite considerably large. Uh, it also gives a larger capacity for the oil and gas industry. With the high speeds and the size of the bed, we're able to do more exotic materials. We're able to do it faster than our older machines. We could also nest a lot on the machine as well, which meant we could put several jobs, actually set them up, and move from one job to the other, to the other, to the other, which we weren't capable of before. OK, and you mentioned the travels. I know it's over two metres in the X, a metre in the Y, and over 800 in the Z. So do you actually use all that capacity? Quite often, yes, as you can probably see now, with several vices set up there with quite a long job in. So yes, it really depends on what comes in and how we use the machine. But we do use the full capacity of the machine. And how is it in terms of rigidity and stability? It's very good. It's very like an old-fashioned machine, to be honest. A lot of the modern machines are very tinny. And uh, to get the cost down on the machines, they tend to reduce the weight and the strength of the machine. But this is kind of built a little bit the old-fashioned way, but looks a lot more modern. Sure, over 18 tonne. So I believe, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't a joy to bring in, I can tell you that. But yeah, once it's in position and it's all set up, lovely machine and lovely to work. Mm -hmm. And you've gone for the Fanuc control. I know there's Hydenane and Siemens options, but why did you go for Fanuc? To be honest, mainly the guys. The guys are more used to Fanuc and they find it a lot easier to work as a program. And locally, it tends to be quite a common program as well. And you're doing a lot of oil and gas work, so presumably you're doing more challenging materials, stainless steels, in canals, things like that? In canals, we'll get uh, duplexes, we'll get um, hastaloys, yeah. And that's a very challenging material. How does the KFO machine hold up? It holds up very well because it's quite a variable speed. It's also got an automatic tool change, so we can change from one tool to another quite, quite quickly. OK, and it's a VMC 21100. Are we likely to see another one? Who knows, if we can get a bit more work. Unfortunately, the oil and gas industry isn't at its strongest at the moment. So we're having to diversify quite a bit and try and pick up a lot more work locally, which again is bringing in work that we haven't seen before. So if we can get more and more of that work, then yeah, I would think it's quite possibly on the cards. And TDT Technology have supplied this machine to RDS. How have you found their training, the support, the installation and things like that? We've had absolutely no complaints. The guys have loved the training. They actually went down to do the training, down to uh, MTD's place, and they came back, and because it's a Fanuc control, or reasonably familiar with the controls anyway, and they took it like duck to water. Some of the key features on the VMC 21100, just to the left, they've actually got a list of all the M codes, so you don't need to refer to any manuals if you forgot it. It's there for fast reference. It's got solid boxway guides in X, Y, and Z, generous travels in X, Y, and Z, and also a BT50 geared spindle, 6,000 RPM. Yeah, th this is really quite important to us because quite often the material we'll get in isn't always uh, of, a, of a section and quite often it comes in as a profile. So we'll have to remove stock very, very quickly to get the rates that the customers are asking for. So because it's got a geared head, we can take deeper cuts, stronger cuts, and because of that, we can do the, the job at a more competitive price. So another happy client? Yes, very much so. Thank you.